Hey what's up guys, it's HDL, and I have something really cool to share with you guys regarding the spin dash. So in Sonic Mania, normally to get a full speed spin dash, um, you have a three frame window to release the spin dash to get the top speed. However, while streaming earlier, I noticed a lot of inconsistency with the speeds I was getting, and it just struck me as very odd because I, I know that for a three frame window, I, I there's no way I should have been messing up uh, getting perfect spin dashes that often. So I decided to investigate it and I discovered that there's actually an additional speed you can get from the spin dash beyond what you would normally get. Uh, this particular um, type of speed is not present in Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. Uh, it is mania specific. Um, it's it's actually really cool. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 crazy that something like this even exists. It's one of those things that if I tell you about it, if you didn't actually see it for yourself, you feel you think I'm I'm just lying to you straight up. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to use some frame advance here. Um, I'm going to do a regular six tap first, just so you can see the difference. And I'm gonna release it. So Tails is gonna become airborne once he crosses from the terrain to the platform, and then he'll break out into a run. Now note his run animation. It's not the fastest animation that he can get. It's just this animation where the tails are visibly uh, spinning behind him. Um, but we are actually gonna get that fastest run animation using the newish technique. It's something that I've actually been doing all along, but I didn't realize I was doing it. Uh, now I know how it works. So, we're gonna go for six taps again. But this time, we're gonna do a seventh input on the same frame that we released the spin dash. So I'm holding an input now. So on this frame, if you input uh, uh, like a, a rev input on this frame, I mean obviously you're not getting a rev, but if you do it on the same frame as the release, you'll actually get a faster speed. And when he lands on the platform to start running, you'd notice his tails, he has the fastest run animation from this. This actually applies with every speed. So you can do a one tap spin dash, and then on the next frame, release it. And I'm not gonna hold anything right here. Um, it, it, this is actually not a good level to show that part. So we'll go somewhere else just to show this off. We'll go to uh, to Green Hill. So this is with the additional speed. With the additional speed, I got all the way up here, up the slope, and to this uh, to this tree. A simple one tap would normally put you over here. Do you notice the difference there? That's a massive difference. do it from over here this is a normal six tap so this is where the usual full speed spin dash would get you right over here now if we apply this new method you, see, you can see like visibly it's noticeably faster and he got closer to the flower this time so yeah, that's the um, the newish mania attack for spin dashing. Basically, the same method of execution that you would use to get a straight jump in Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you basically try to get a straight jump, um, 
it'll result in you getting a faster spin dash speed. And this is frame perfect once again. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, share this with you guys and uh, have fun doing those IOs now. 